Paladin's latest champion to hit the realm is Lee Ahn, or at least on the PTS, and will be coming likely on Wednesday when OB54 is released. Lian's title is the Scion of House Ico. What's a Scion? Well, it's a descendant of a noble family. In the data mining, this champion was referred to as Princess, and I've talked about her previously, but now she's just being seen as a Scion, a Highborn, and in the bits of lore revealed by the developers, is that she and the family is the commander of their house's armies, and also her motivation in the realm is to revive their house household's name. It's still very vague, but I'm sure lore theorists out there will have a field day with it. Today I'm going to go over Leon, break her down, talk about some of the items that are good with her, some tips, tricks, and just thoughts generally on where this champion fits in. Looks wise, she's definitely got that Far Eastern theme going on, looking almost like a Chinese warrior princess. In part of her dress, there's a phoenix-like creature that can be seen, and it does come across in her ulti shots and things like that. The devs did say that the weapon's barrel was made out of crystal bored out and a attached to a golden handle and actually looks really cool. Getting into the nitty gritty, she's a damage class champion, has base health pool of 2000 and going into her abilities, first off her heirloom rifle, the main weapon, is her in hand and it does 400 direct damage every 0.45 seconds. It is a hit scan weapon and has damage drop off and it's pretty much a mid range weapon with some poke potential. And you can also headshot which takes the damage to 600 at max damage range with no other cards or item effects. The weapon acts very much like a semi-automatic rifle like the M1 Grand or something like that. And the weapon has 8 shots before needing to reload. The damage can be increased by 10% to 440 per hit with a legendary card called Precision. But either way, the damage isn't huge in terms of burst and single shot power compared to Cassie and others in terms of her in-hand weapon. But what she doesn't have in her main weapon, she makes up with lots of constant damage, combo damage, and area damage, which I'll continue onto with the other abilities. Valor is her right click on PC, and it's an ability that will hit all enemies that are in front of you, dealing 400 area damage to each of them. It will mostly hit people that are in your field of vision, as long as they aren't obscured by cover or wouldn't normally be hit by an attack if you tried to fire at them. The ability also acts as a weapon attack, and what this means is you can still apply Cauterize the debuff with this ability. This is applied to all the next abilities I'm going to talk about, but is especially good on Valor because it hits everybody. I also tested it with Lifesteal, and that doesn't seem to work out, even though it, I mean, it's a weapon attack. It does have a 8 second cooldown, but a lot of cards can reduce that, and it feels like it comes around fast enough to have impact in most engagements you'll fight in. You can also use it as a guaranteed finisher if somebody is low enough, and I've used it a few times as that. Presence is an ability that charges her heirloom rifle for 0.5 seconds, then fires a beam-like shot that will deal 800 damage, has no damage drop-off, will pierce and travel through enemies until it reaches its max range, or hits an obstacle, and will, like mentioned, act like a weapon shot. I have been struggling a little bit to hit these with the delays, as a bit of a jerker, but are definitely good at hitting enemies at range, getting some strong poke, and attempting to burst down enemies health ball on a single target, especially those with big health balls like a tank, as you really struggle to get consistent damage with just your normal attacks. There is a 15 second cooldown which is a big one on a kit, and it's definitely an ability you'll have to make sure you use it at the right moment, but there is a card called Heraldry, which if you hit an enemy with this presence, it reduces the cooldown by 1.5 seconds to 6 seconds at its maximum level. And there's also a legendary card Eminence, which you could combine with this, which reduces the cooldown by 4 seconds, then increases the damage by 50% past 100 feet. And the idea of using this as a sniping ability, I'm not so sure about in these two cards, as the cooldown is still a little high, and the attack is a little situational because if an enemy is sniping you, that charge up time could be deadly, and it gives time for enemies to react and dodge it, and if you are sniping somebody and you are in that charge up delay, then you're easy to snipe yourself, so I think there's a bit of a give and take with the presence. Finally, Grace is her escape, which dodges you in the direction you are currently moving in, just like Cassie's dodge roll. It can be increased in distance with cards like Cassie's dodge roll too, but Leon's dodge will fire a weapon attack, hitting the nearest enemy to you where you're aiming. There is also a legendary card called Alacrity, which will make her Grace act more like Valor and hit everybody with the damage that is in front of you as you are going through this dodge. The Grace has a pretty low cooldown of 5 seconds and can be reduced to 4 with that Alacrity Legendary card. And definitely with that Alacrity you can do a lot of damage and it's almost like firing off that Valor all of the time and going in and being aggressive and dipping out. Even when you're running away, basically if you dodge backwards and you're looking forwards, you'll still do the damage to the enemies in front of you 
and that's why she's quite good to run away with as you're dodging backwards you're still doing quite a bit of damage. Finally onto the juiciest of abilities, the ultimate. Enlightenment is an ability which channels Lian's noble blood, taking her into a charge up for one second and she'll be CC and damage immune during this charge up. The animation does look a lot like Inara's ultimate, but when fully charged will release a powerful blast that looks like a phoenix and has quite a large projectile size which on contact with an enemy will do 1600 damage and will pierce enemies passing through just like presents. The bonkers thing about this ultimate is it will recharge 50% if you kill an enemy with it. So if you get two kills, you instantly recharge it. The re ult is pretty bonkers, like I mentioned, but definitely isn't easy to get with that one second for enemies to dodge it. So most of the time you'll be getting one target and getting 50% back. But a single kill definitely is easily doable and means you'll have this ult a lot. But again, there's a bit of a downside because it's kind of a budget Lex ult and 1600 damage will finish off a lot of the squishier targets in the game. But even some of the tanks will survive even if you've done some poke damage to them beforehand. Anyway, that's Lian broken down. And I'm just going to go through some thoughts on some tips and things like that. So first of all, items that are good on Lian. So Cauterize is great because she has so many ways to apply the debuff with the dodge legendary in a massive area and using it every 4 seconds. You can basically just keep all enemies in front of you as long as they're out in the open stuck with Cauterize if you have that legendary card. And also with Valor as well, you're using it in a massive area in front of you. Basically just if anyone's in sight then they will have reduced healing. Kill to heal can be good as well if you are picking up a healing card as she hits so many enemies she finds it easy to get eliminations and to benefit from that heal card because you'll be so active in hitting enemies all the time and you're probably going to get some kills back and to heal up. With the utility items there is a bit of a less emphasis on needing cooldowns because if you take the inheritance card which is one of the loadout cards what it does is it reduces all cooldowns from eliminations by up to 40% and apart from presence that will make a lot of the abilities come back relatively quickly. But Cronus could definitely still be an option as the abilities are just so important with Leon. If you do actually want to make an impact in the game, and especially if you're taking on one enemy, using all of your, your abilities, dodging all the time, using your Valor, getting that in with your normal attacks to get that burst potential is very important. The ultimate here too can be rushed by 50% each kill with the ult. If you are to use it at the right time, you can keep it up basically. So it puts less emphasis on picking up morale boost because you might get 100% back just off one kill. I could see perhaps picking up morale boost early on and getting your ult as quickly as possible and then just keep it charged up after that, but I'm not 100% sold on morale boost. Those are the cards that I think have the most effect on her at the moment anyway. So just a few short tips that I've come across so far. To go against an enemy 1v1 you're going to have to be comboing all of your abilities. One thing I'd say about your dodge is just be very careful about going forwards and chasing people down. It is great if you have something that's low in front of you and you want to kill them instantly. If they are over that 400 HP you can roll into them and it'll lock onto them and kill them especially with the legendary card so you don't necessarily going to lock on somebody else by accident. Valor 2 can finish people off pretty easily. But a lot of the time you'll be wanting to use Valor and going backwards so you don't accidentally go out of position and end up in somebody's face and in the, in the middle of enemies, which I've done a few times, being a bit too aggressive with her. She's not Cassie, she can't reset her dodge with incitement, so if you get in, then it's very hard to get out again unless you survive the 4 seconds for, or 5 seconds for the dodge to come back up again. Although as I say that, if you can move side to side, then mixing it up makes you less interpretable and they won't know where you're going to go every time, so could interrupt an enemy's aim. Out of the legendary cards, I'd definitely say Lacrity can be great, the one where Grace now hits all enemies in front of you. It just does so much consistent damage to enemies that compared to Precision, which just deals 10% more on your normal rifle, and giving Grace 8 ammo, which is actually good, I do think that the Lacrity card probably has more impact, and because the cooldown of your escape is reduced by 1 second, it allows you to be more mobile, and being mobile in the game often means winning. It's why they've nerfed a lot of it in the game this patch round. That generation of 8 ammo on the rifle though is pretty damn good and may be worth picking up if the enemy don't have two tanks or a team that's going to be out in the open a lot or maybe if the enemy team has two flanks and you want to be trying to burst somebody down uh, maybe if you're in a casual game you don't see who the enemy picks and you've picked up your Leon then that might be an option too. I'm just not too sh I'm just not really sold at the moment on presence although maybe it'll come up in the meta. 
Something I haven't mentioned yet, but Leon is great at getting into enemies after you've wiped a point. Say if you're on the siege point, you haven't quite captured the point, you're ticking up getting the points ready to take it. And your enemies have wiped, going up and stopping your enemies from coming to the point. Knocking off the horses is great with Leon because the Valor and a dodge if you have it to hit all enemies will instantly knock everybody off their horses and can be used to great effect, especially if you're going against some of the bigger tanks at the moment, like a Fernando who's just going in crazily then ulting or something like that so that's another thing that's great on leon at the moment again be a little bit careful with the presence you can finish people off and snipe them but also it's just good at hitting higher hp targets making sure that you definitely hit it with a tank or something like that uh, so you don't waste it but if an enemy has used their movement ability already and you know that you can probably track them and kill them with presence then it's an option too Anyway, how do I feel that she fits into the meta? So she's a damage dealer that can do lots of constant damage spread across almost all of the other team's players if you are to hit off all of your abilities. And she's combo heavy and does struggle a bit with 1v1 engagements and duels. And I'd say that even though she has quite a bit of mobility with the dodgers, she is a bit more of a backline damage dealer, being a bit more cautious on how you position yourself and making sure you don't accidentally get stuck in a group of enemies. But maybe comboing bursts following flankers could work too, and that might unravel in the meta in the coming weeks. She's got so many great things that are just on the periphery as well that aren't necessarily just to do with damage or kills, like putting on the cauterize on such a massive group, and also being able to knock people off their horses is quite a big thing for Leon and might not be picked out by most players. The only thing is that the lock-on abilities and the area denial abilities are perhaps dousing down the aiming element of the game, and making it slightly more casual, but that's just nitpicking a little bit. And, you know, I definitely did have fun playing her. I do wonder about the ultimate being tweaked a little bit because the 50% recharge is pretty insane. But I could definitely see her actually making it into the competitive meta. And being a main damage dealer, and she just does damage so well. She's not so great at finishing people off, but the flankers can pick up the slack there. But damage, output, she's consistently up there. Definitely maybe one of the more annoying champions to go against as the damage is so consistent, even more annoying than getting splashed by a Drogo Salvo randomly flying around a corner. Anyway, what does everybody else think about Lee Ann? Do you have any tips or ideas? And what do you think about her abilities? Is there anything you want to know about how her abilities affect and interact with other players? Maybe I could do a video about that or something. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Subscribe for more of my content, and I'll see you all next time. Joshino.